Hey everyone, welcome back. Bruce with DIY Homestead Projects. All my life I've been cutting metal with my hand-held hacksaw. And that's all I've ever really had to cut pieces of metal with. But things are changing now. Because today I'm going to do a review on this. I don't know if it's a review, but I'm going to open it up, show you what it comes with. It is a Harbor Freight Bauer portable bandsaw. Cost me about a hundred bucks on a coupon from Harbor Freight. 10 amp, five inch cut. I've had it for about five months. I just now getting around to open it up and see if I can get it, get some use out of it. I bought some uh, scrap steel at a scrap yard. It's uh, 3 16 inch angle iron. I want to cut some industry standard, I guess they're called coupons, to try some welding with my newly modified Harbor Freight Flux Core welder. I'm going to cut some scraps and some pieces and try some fillet welds and then I'm going to cut and etch those welds just to kind of test the performance and see how that machine is actually doing. I've never done any of that before so this should be interesting to follow along with and we'll see how it goes. So let me uh, open this up and I'll show you. I've, ha I've had it open. I used it one time to cut a little piece of plastic PVC pipe which is not what I bought it for but that's all I've done with it so far. So it does come with a nice case nice big heavy case it's pretty stout pretty heavy for what it is built pretty tough I think inside the case when you open it up I have a blade in here but this model and I'll tell you the model number here in just a second this is one of the newer models all it comes with is instructions no extra motor brushes no blades none of that it is model 6178EB. Well, you guys can see that. 6178E-B. To my knowledge, it's the newest model. I bought it the first part of the year 2019. Oh, February or March, something like that. It's kind of got a darker color to it almost a brown looking color and the logo is just one solid color there's not uh, stickers or anything on it it's just painted over a logo but there you go so it, according to the box it's got a five inch depth so you can cut something that's five inches deep an on off switch no trigger lock on this and then a variable wheel here to adjust the speed of the saw. Like I said it came, mine did not come with blades so I bought a two pack of the Harbor Freight Bauer blades. Probably the cheapest ones I could find from what I've seen uh, reviews online everybody's happy with them. So we'll see, we'll see how they do cutting through this uh, mild steel that I bought. But putting the blade on was really was a piece of cake it's got an adjustment lever here that loosens what it does. You pull that lever and it moves this wheel inward a little bit and you can just pull that blade off of the wheels. The wheels have like a rubber liner around them that the blade rides on. Put on the new blade, make sure you got it lined up between these spacers and then flip the lever back over and it tightens that wheel back up and you're good to go. But that's it, that's all there is to it. I guess it does have an Allen wrench in this packet, a, a small Allen wrench. I'm not sure, not sure what that's for, but it comes with it. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I guess it adjusts this table. this little, I don't know what you call it, 
little table right here has a couple of Allen bolts that hold it in place. Oh, you can loosen that up and slide it forward or backward, I guess it looks like. Alright, let me get this set up and then we'll do a couple of shots of me cutting through that metal. We'll see how it does. Alright, we're set up here. It has a speed range from 1 to 7. 1 is the slowest, of course. 7 is the fastest. I'll try it on the different speeds and then we'll just see how it goes. So here's the lowest speed. And we'll turn it up to the highest speed. I'm going to try it on the slowest. It's probably too slow, but just to see what it does. All right, slowest speed. All right, it's definitely bogging down from the weight of the saw when I let the weight of the saw on it. Let's turn it up to five, see how that does. Now let's go to four. It's about halfway, a little more than halfway. Uh, it's working, but that's pretty slow. Let's crank it up all the way. Alright, that's that's pretty good. I got a little crooked with that because I tried to adjust and I should have left it where it was. Anyway, I'm going to leave it in that position. All I did was draw a line on it. Now I may or may not be right on the line. I'm just putting a line for a reference. I don't know if it matches with this line I got on the back side, but that's what I'm going to use. Well, that beats the heck out of doing it by hand. Amazing. Let's have a look at that cut. There's the side cut when I was cutting down from the top. And there's the end cut. Pretty nice. Not bad at all. All right, let's do another one. So then I can take these and mount them like this. So I can have two fillet welds to practice. That's the whole that's the whole point with doing this. Cuts through there pretty nice. I don't remember the the blades I bought, what the tooth count was on those, and I threw the package away a while ago. But uh, it's a pretty fine, pretty fine tooth blade. All right, let's do one more. So it takes it a little while to get through there, but not bad at all. Oh, 
it didn't quite cut through on that particular one. That's all right. Close enough. Cuts real nice. That would have taken me hours by hand. Well, what do I think? What do you think? What do you guys think about this machine? Or anybody out there that's watching this that actually owns one of these and have had uh, had some use out of it, what do you think about it? I think it's fantastic. You know, $100. The nearest one, uh, let's see, Milwaukee is uh, three times that, 300 bucks. I'm not saying it's comparable. I'm not saying it's better or worse. I've never owned the Milwaukee or any other bandsaw, portable bandsaw for that matter. But for $100, I can definitely see it being a useful, cheap tool. And uh, for the hobbyist guy, like what I'm using it for, just tinkering around in the garage and doing little projects for fun here and there, I, I couldn't ask for more. So far, so good. Who else out there thinks that coupons is a weird... That name just cracks me up. They call these little things coupons in the welding industry. I think it's weird, but anyway, that's what they call them. Uh, to cut some of those out so I can do some weld practice, pretty darn nice. I like it. I like it a lot. We'll see how it lasts over time. I'm going to try to get myself a some kind of a stand made. Maybe I'll use it and my, my newly modified Harbor Freight Flux Core welder to uh, fabricate some kind of a stand for it. There's a lot of different options and designs out there on YouTube, people making those stands. So that should be a fun project. Next project though, I'm gonna be taking these coupons I just cut out and uh, I'll be doing some welding, some practice welding. If you've been following my channel and my videos, you know I'm, I'm a beginner welder. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but uh, I want to practice. And this will be some of the thickest steel. This is the thickest that the machine was rated for, 3 sixteenths of an inch. And I want to do a fillet weld. That'll give me uh, two three inch fillet welds per coupon. I got three of them that I just cut out. So that'll give me some nice practice metal to do some beads on. And then I'm gonna cut them in half with this saw, polish them up a little bit, and uh, take a take a stab at uh, doing some etching and and acid test etching and see first see if I can even do that. Second of all, see if I can see what kind of penetration I'm getting with that welder. I'm just 100% curious. I think if you've been watching my welder modification videos you might be curious to check that out too so that's the next project in the next video I'll be welding these up running some beads and then uh, we'll, I'll cut them and check them anyway guys Bauer portable bandsaw from Harbor Freight 100 bucks I've seen it as low as $94 um, so far so good I give it a thumbs up if you like the videos guys give me a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell if you want notified when I post new videos. I've been putting up regular videos uh, two or three a week, usually uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday mornings. It's kind of my, so to speak, light schedule. I'm not on a schedule, but that's what I try to post. So if you're looking for my new videos, that's when you'll uh, probably notice that I got one up. Hope you're all doing well. We'll catch you guys on the next video.